Hey, so this is how you're going to do the drag and drop. First, you're going to want to create a project that's probably 16 by 9 just because that's good quality. And then after that, this is what everything's going to look like. You want to insert a new object, and it's going to be a sprite, which is basically just a game object. It's the things that you'll interact with. We're going to name it Drag Me. And then basically it pulls up this dialog whenever you click on the screen. You can color it however you want. You can just customize it however you like. And I'm just going to write drag me on this. Just to make it a little more clear. Yeah. Um you can import your own images if you want to. I personally didn't feel like it for this tutorial. Alright, so just resize that. And I'm going to insert another new object. And this one is going to be the location that we're dragging to. This is also a sprite. And this one's just going to be called Drop Here. So I'm going to insert that. And I'll just pick a different color, a slightly darker one. And then I'll write on that one too. Oh, messed up on the D. Drop here. All right. And I'm just going to resize that again. And just so you know, whenever you resize things, you can uh, click and hold left shift while you drag one of the corners and it makes it easier for scaling. Now we're going to make two new variables. Uh, the first one's going to be called start x. That's just the starting x position and that's this first little guy over here. Be 139. <coughs> we're going to make another one and it's called start y. Um, its value is going to be this guy over here. And that's just so that whenever we drag the object somewhere, it'll pop back to that start position if it isn't on top of something like the drop here. All right, so we have to add a behavior, uh, the drag and drop behavior. It's not there automatically, so that's why we added it. And now let's go to our event sheet. It's automatically made. Uh, we're going to make a drag me event. And on drop, we are going to... Um, we're going to check if it's overlapping with the drag here object. I mean, I'm sorry, drop here. So we have to select drop here. All right. Okay. And then if it is overlapping drop here, then we know that we want it to snap to it. So we select drag me. And then we click on set position. And then when we set the position, we're going to want it to be drop here's x value and drop here's y value and that dot is basically just referencing drop here's variable x and y. I'm going to click done and then otherwise if it's not overlapping something we have to check for that as well so we'll add a system event which on the special conditions we click else and then we add an action for drag me and if it is not touching anything we're going to set the position to those variables that we originally set at the very beginning and that'll be drag me dot uh, start x for the x value and then the same thing except for y so drag me dot start y and that will just put it right back it'll make it pop back at its original position but do you notice something? We need to have um, the events that are under on drop indented. So there we go. Now it's indented. And that just means that it'll only happen if something, or if that, if the drag me object is dropped. So now we're going to run it. And oh hey, it works. But oh god, it's under drop here. Whatever will we do? All right. So we'll just go back to the layout and right click and then click on the Z order and set it to the top of the layer and then we'll see how that fixes it. 
that just means that it's on top of drop here. But yeah, and we see that it goes back to its original position. So thanks for watching.